What is up my dudes, cheap bastard talking to ya and today I am going to review my personal Samsung CJG5 monitor the correct way. so you don't get misled and do this. So, I'm using this monitor for almost 6 months now, and to summarize my experience, I really do like it, but it does have some flaws. I bought it for 250 euros new, and for the price of that, this was the cheapest 144Hz 1440p non-TN panel monitor. Personally, I hate the unboxing segment of review videos, so let's speedrun this part. Here's what you get inside the packaging. A monitor, a power cable, a stand which you have to assemble by yourself, and HDMI cable. That's it. Now let's go over a quick specs overview. It is a curved 27 inch monitor with a VA panel, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 4 millisecond response time, 2560 by 1440 resolution, 144 Hz refresh rate and 300 nit brightness. As for the ports, it has one display port and two HDMI outputs and a headphone jack. And these ports could be easily hidden by this plastic piece right here, which helps cables to look much tidier. Design-wise, this monitor is pretty default looking. The bezels are on the smaller side, but not as small as my previous LG 27UD68 4K monitor. The stand is super stable, could easily survive an earthquake. I kind of go in here at the bottom. The joystick under the Samsung logo is super intuitive, easy to use. The UI is not the most modern looking, but it is swift and lag free. Now let's roll to the screen, which is the most important thing I think. On standard settings the colors were warm and a bit yellowish, but with these color settings I use, you can't tell a difference between this and the IPS panel, trust me. So, the colors are very beautiful and the brightness is just amazing. I have it set on just 30% and on 100% you won't have a need to go to the beach for sun bathing anymore. Viewing angles are pretty average because of the curve, the color shift exists but it is very minor. And of course, you won't be watching movies with your homies with this thing. Ah, are you seriously watching porn by yourself? Nah, I'm with my Because it is designed for direct viewing. If you live in a sunny room or have Jesus as your neighbor, Jello beats, uh -uh. at me. This anti glare screen is also not the best option. In direct sunlight, you will see reflections of the sun, but as long as the light is not direct, it is fine. Now let's move on to gaming. The 4 millisecond input lag is really unnoticeable and playing esports games on more than 144 FPS is really enjoyable except for this one part. Ghosting. These pixels aren't as fast as in other monitors and they leave a noticeable trace behind, especially if the colors are vastly different. So if you are an extreme pro player, this monitor is not for you, but for a guy like me, which does gaming occasionally for fun, it is more than enough. Playing AAA games on around 60 FPS is also very enjoyable, everything feels really smooth and looks beautiful. And the only real way to eliminate ghosting is to... 
So, to conclude everything, here are the pros and cons. I'll start with the cons. Personally, I don't like this curve, cause it is useless in my opinion, looks cool, but not good for movie watching with other people. Slow pixels cause ghosting, but it is fine for most people. Anti-glare screen doesn't protect you from direct sunlight. Pros. Very nice and beautiful colors after tweaking the settings a bit. Extreme brightness, stable stand, intuitive UI, cheap price for 144Hz, 1440p resolution and IPS like colors. So this was my first ever monitor review, so if I miss something or you have any suggestions, comment down below and I will answer all of your questions. Subscribe to not get attacked by a cat. And don't forget to stay cheap, my dudes. Cheap bastard out. As always, the important thing to remember, do not touch your face.